If you've been following the story, you may have noticed a familiar name and a face at some of the news conferences for Terry Schiavo's parents. His name is Randall Terry, and Rudy Bakhtiar went in-depth on his story to bring you an angle you won't see anywhere else. Randall Terry is back at the mic. Here's the supporting documents for those in favor of life and justice. The man once famous for throwing his body in front of abortion clinics is now on stage outside of a new clinic, the hospice housing Terry Schiavo. For, um, but originally they got me involved because they knew that I was kind of a lightning rod and that me even coming would help jumpstart things. He's the family spokesman for Terry Schiavo's parents, Robert and Mary Schindler, in their fight with judges over who decides her fate. We are like little lap dogs begging for our rights at the feet of judges. This time, he's starring as himself. Randall Terry and the anti-abortion organization he founded, Operation Rescue, divorced more than 10 years ago. He has a lot of people that he knows, a lot of groups that he mobilizes. So when he starts making phone calls, people start showing up. But the Terry Schiavo case has given the fire-breathing activist a new life in the media scrum. Whether it has to do with child pornography on the Internet or the Pledge of Allegiance having under God in it or the Ten Commandments in Alabama or homosexual marriage in Massachusetts or Vermont, where do all these things come from? Judges. It's been a long road for Randall Terry, who was once imprisoned for sending former President Bill Clinton an aborted fetus. This is what choice is all about. His clinic crusade slowed after he was forced to settle a lawsuit with Planned Parenthood. He moved to Florida and campaigned against infidelity and birth control, gays and unwed mothers. But a year ago, his expanded agenda came under fire from his own devout Christian family, the children he once featured in TV ads. Well, there it is. His son, Jamil, came out as gay in a magazine article. In my family, it was you start having sex outside of marriage, you get AIDS. You're a whore, you're a slut. Um, those are exact words. Yesterday he said to me, I'm going to be at your funeral, you're going to die at 42. His teenage daughter, Tila, said her father no longer welcomes her in his home. I had sex outside of marriage, I got pregnant, and I miscarried after about three or four months. I hadn't been speaking with my dad. We haven't been as close as, you know, we were since I've left his house. His eldest, Ebony, also had two children out of wedlock and became a Muslim. The whole makeup of our family is not traditional by far, so it, it's not going to be, you know, picture perfect. And Randall Terry himself was censored by his church after he had an affair with an assistant. The family split. She is in the agonizing position of dying of thirst. She's on fire while politicians fiddle. So now he has a new family and a second chance to become the voice of the Christian right. If she dies, there is going to be hell to pay with the pro-life, pro-family, Republican people of various legislative levels, statewide and federal-wide, who have used pro-life, pro-family, conservative rhetoric to get into power, and then when they have that power, they refuse to use it. Randall Terry now works with an organization he formed in 2003. It's called the Society for Truth and Justice, and its first campaign was against the U.S. Supreme Court's 6-3 decision striking down anti-sodomy laws. He launched the Impeach the Twisted Six campaign in Florida, which really never gained any strength, and then came the Shiva How did case. he get involved in the Shiva case? Well, about a year ago, he approached the family, and he was approached by the family, actually, to, to take this on and basically bring Shiva's case to the American people, and the father actually credits him with saving Terry Shivo's life at least once. All right, thanks for.